So this video is gonna be a little different than anything I've done before. You know, it's become quite trendy as of late for people to do exposed videos where they call out other preachers of the gospel or where someone in a more passive aggressive way may say, well, I just wanna examine this person's beliefs or that person's beliefs, but really it's a subtle form of criticism that's not necessarily always needed. So what I wanna do is something different. I wanna do a video of eight of my favorite ministries around. Now, I'm not gonna be able to list all of the ministries that I love and honor and respect and support, but I'm gonna list eight of my favorite Christian ministries that are around today, and I recommend that you give these a follow. But before I do that, if you want to stand for unity, then I want you to leave in the comment section three simple words, make us one. That's a prayer asking the Lord to make us one in Christ, because that really is the mark of our connection with God in that we love one another. Now, I'm gonna say this as a disclaimer before I go down the list. Obviously, the people on this list don't agree with me on every single topic. You will find that there are some disagreements. I would rather call them differences in the way we teach on certain topics. But as it goes for the primaries of the faith, the fundamentals, things like Jesus is Lord, things like the bodily resurrection of Jesus, things like the Holy Trinity, we agree. And because we agree on the primary, we agree on Christ. So number one, here is a great minister, someone I consider a true evangelist. The ministry of Matt Cruz is a ministry I highly recommend to you. Matt Cruz is a fiery, passionate revivalist. And the messages that he brings are fresh. The messages that he brings are sincere. Matt has a really wonderful way of communicating through story form. So many of the testimonies that he shares are just inspiring. And I've watched him in person as he's ministered and shared stories. And it's just something magnetic about the way that he shares the testimonies that he's experienced. It's because it comes from a place of genuine uh, thankfulness unto God for the things that God has done in and through his life. So he's got a great ministry. And of course, as I go down the list, you're going to see links to all of these ministries in the comment sections, or at least we'll be able to put information on how you can get in touch with these ministries. But Matt Cruz, number one, that's one of the ministries that I highly recommend. Number two, Prophet Robert Sanchez. Prophet Rob is a very good friend of mine. I've known him for several years. And yes, he is very accurate as a prophet. But I'm more impressed with purity than I am with accuracy. And Prophet Rob Sanchez is a man of character. He's a man who loves Jesus. I've seen him in everyday life just being very generous. And he has a lot of compassion for God's people. I've seen him prophesy for hours. I kid you not four, five, six hours of just prophesying. He will prophesy until everyone in the church has received a word. And I've seen him do this with very large crowds. From the platform to behind the scenes, he's the same guy, sincere, a genuine mouthpiece of heaven, got a tremendous gifting. And one of the ways that he teaches is actually quite unique. Of course, he's grounded, he's on the word, but there's a very poetic way to the way that he teaches and prophesies, so make sure you check out the ministry of Prophet Robert Sanchez. Number three, I had to put him in here, and this is not a teaching ministry per se, but it's a ministry you should get connected with. People ask me all the time, who's your favorite worship leader? Well, I recommend to you none other than the anointed worship ministry of Mr. Stephen Moctezuma. I tell people he's not like my brother, he is my brother. We've known each other since we were children. We grew up in church together, but that's not why I'm recommending his ministry. He really does carry a powerful gift of worship. There's a heavenly elegance, there's a class to the way that he leads worship. We call him here at our ministry, our in-house seraphim, and it comes from a genuine place. He truly loves Jesus. I can tell you that 100%. The man you see on the platform is the man behind the stage. He is a genuine lover of God. He truly loves worship. I've seen him worship God in some of the most difficult times of his life, and that worship just flows from him in a very powerful way. It changes the atmosphere. There's a real dynamic to it, so make sure you check out the worship ministry of Mr. Stephen Moctezuma. 
Number four, and we actually just had her on the program, Hannah Williamson. Let me describe the preaching style of Hannah Williamson in one word. Bold. She is not afraid to tell you the truth. And in a time where preachers seem to be shying away from the truth, in a time where leaders are actually trying to become nuanced, they're trying to be clever, they're trying to tell the truth without really telling the truth, I thank God that Hannah Williamson has been raised for this hour. She is not afraid to say what the Bible says. She is not afraid to communicate even the harsher truths of Scripture to this culture. And really, she is a counterculture ministry and is very effective at reaching the next generation. She has a real heart for discipleship, a real heart for revival, a real heart for teaching believers to walk in purity and therefore power. So I recommend to you the ministry of Hannah Williamson. Number five, T.J. Malkanji. Now, I had the honor of meeting T.J. Malkanji and his wife a couple of years ago when they came to one of my services in Orlando, Florida. Afterwards, we had dinner. He was there. His wife was there. My ministry team was there. And we just connected. And in talking to him, I really sensed and saw that there was a genuine love for God's people. He really has this deep desire to see God's people be set free. And it's contagious. That sort of desire, that sort of sincerity is what leads to true anointed ministry because it's an overflow of his heart for God and his heart for people. He has a very passionate preaching style and it's 100% sincere. That's true excitement coming out of that man. He was delivered from OCD. It's part of his testimony. He shares it often. And now he's seeing others set free. He's a soul winner. And he is one who God is using to set the captives free through preaching, teaching, prayer, and powerful, anointed, dynamic ministry. Number six, evangelist Joshua Kelly. Now, Joshua Kelly's ministry is right now in a season of growth. And I believe you're going to see more from this man of God in the coming years. He has a real heart for evangelism. He often prays for the sick. And he preaches a true message of holiness, repentance, revival. He's not afraid to talk about topics like the cross, the blood of Jesus, deliverance, miracles, faith, and truly the Holy Spirit is with this man of God. Now, I want to tell you something I know personally about Joshua Kelly that you may not know from watching him on his YouTube channel. You know, often we see people on YouTube or on platforms and the way they are in front of the screen or on the stage isn't really the way they are behind the scenes. Well, with Joshua Kelly, on the screen, on the stage, and behind the scenes, there is a humility that comes from this man that is just so absolutely refreshing. I've watched as this anointed evangelist has listened to the voice of the Holy Spirit. I've watched him give up opportunities that seemed good simply because he felt the Holy Spirit telling him no. His motives are not growth in ministry. His motives are not fame or fortune. I watch him turn away from both to pursue where he knew the Holy Spirit wanted him to go. And because of that, I truly believe, as I said earlier, that you're going to see more from his ministry in the coming years. I highly recommend that you look into the ministry of Joshua Kelly. Number seven, of course you knew he would be on this list, my dear friend, Pastor Vlad Sovchuk. Now, Pastor Vlad, many of you don't know this, was the one who got me started on coffee. That was an inside joke, and now it's a joke that everyone knows. I never drank coffee before. It was always water and sometimes tea. And then I went and visited him. I preached at his church, and he showed me the best coffee spots. And I'll tell you this, it's moments like that that I remember with my friend, Pastor Vlad. Now, he truly is a man of God, and I highly recommend his ministry to you. He's got great teachings on prayer. He's got excellent teachings on the Holy Spirit. In fact, that's the way I found Pastor Vlad initially, just because, you know, the YouTube algorithm sometimes recommends certain teachings to you that are similar to what you're putting out. And because I released so many teachings on the Holy Spirit, I saw his teachings on the Holy Spirit, and I remember seeing his ministry, and I told Steve Mothizum, I said, Steve, this guy is preaching exactly what we're preaching. We have to connect with him at some point. 
It was a few months later that I received a call from his ministry where they were inviting me to come and minister at their church, Hungry Generation, which, by the way, that's a great church and one I highly recommend often. And this anointed man of God has integrity. This anointed man of God has a passion for the word. This man of God really knows how to preach. I'm telling you, I don't think, I think there are very few people who can preach like Pastor Vlad can preach. In fact, I love those succinct phrases that he gives where he can summarize a whole thought, a whole teaching in one sentence. And I've tried to coin the term, I call them Vladisms. That's what we call them internally here at our ministry. Um, I remember first seeing uh, what I believe is one of his more popular videos on YouTube where he talks about the difference between a boy and a man. And just the succinct, short way he puts out truth is very effective, very sharp mind, highly anointed. Check out the teaching, preaching, deliverance, healing, power-packed ministry of Pastor Vlad Savchuk, and I know you're going to be blessed by his ministry. Number eight, Pastor Michael Hernandez of Reclaim Media. Now, if that last name, Hernandez, sounds familiar to you, that's because Michael is my younger brother. For those of you who didn't know, I do have a younger brother. I have two siblings, one older sister and one younger brother. Now, just because he's my brother is not the reason why I'm putting him on this list. He truly does have some powerful preaching and teaching on his channel, Reclaim Media. He's got a real heart for God's people. I mean, I can tell you this, after years of watching him minister, he truly prioritizes God's people. That's his heart. He wants to reach them. You know, I've been in green rooms and back rooms and behind the scenes and behind the stage with many men and women of God. And I've seen many men and women of God come off their platforms and talk about how many people showed up. Oh my goodness, there were so many people here. I've seen behind the scenes where they rejoice. Wow, can you believe what came in the offering? And there's nothing necessarily wrong with rejoicing in a lot of people attending your event or a lot of people giving generously to your ministry, which is a cause that you believe in. But I've watched my brother, and he's never really mentioned those things. After a service, the primary thing he's talking about is, did you see that family go to the altar? Did you see that family we were praying for? They got saved. Did you see that family we were believing for? They got healed. And so it's precisely this heart for God's people. He truly is a shepherd. He is a true pastor. And so if you're looking for someone who has a real concern, a real heart for God's people and truly wants to see people develop, that's his heart. He wants to see people develop through discipleship. He wants to see them grow. He wants to see them become who God created them to become. That's the ministry of Michael Hernandez at Reclaim Media. So make sure you check out his ministry. Now, as I said, I mean, I think there's something we can point out on everyone on this list where I might disagree with them a little bit, or there might be a different methodology that they use that I wouldn't use. But this is what it means to be united. Look, I know there's a time to divide. I know someone starts preaching heresy or starts violating the fundamentals of the faith. Okay, that's a time for division. But we have to stop bashing fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. We have to stop attacking each other and calling it the ministry. We must embrace this peace. But I wanted to do this today to show you what it looks like when we honor each other, when we embrace one another, when we stick to what Jesus truly commanded us to do, and that is love one another. Not unity at the expense of truth, but true unity, where we're united in the truth that we believe around Christ himself, the fundamentals of the faith. And so, as I've done this, I'm doing this to show you what it looks like when we honor others instead of bashing others. When we honor the ministries that God has placed in the church instead of attacking them for not being just like us. So let me challenge you with this thought. Are there ministries, are there people, are there churches that you are unfairly criticizing. Yeah, we may say things like, oh, something in my spirit didn't sit right. But often what we're really saying is, I don't like them or I don't agree with what they said. Can we be the body of Christ? Can we come together? Let's be a generation that honors one another. Let's embrace this biblical principle of honor and encouragement 
Let's embrace the way of Christ, the way of unity. Now, let me pray for you. Father, I pray you would cause your church to love one another. I pray, Lord, that you would give us true discernment, not cynicism, not criticism, not suspicion, true discernment based on your word. And Father, I'm asking you to heavily convict us in the name of Jesus. Convict us who don't obey your word and your call to unity and love. Help us, Father, to do it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And I want you to say it because you believe it. Say amen. Now, don't turn out the video just yet. I need to talk to you about a couple of things. Number one, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And also, make sure you're subscribed to Encounter TV. Click the notification bell when you do subscribe so that you can receive notices when we put out new content. Encounter TV is spirit-filled, Jesus-centered, Bible-based. Now, if you want to take your support to the next level beyond subscription, beyond praying for the ministry, and you want to help us, you want to get real involved in what we're doing, you want to help us produce the content, run the live streams, host the events that we have around the world, then can I ask you to consider becoming a monthly ministry supporter? Help us win souls around the world. Help us disciple believers. Help us expand the kingdom of God. Go right now, davidhernandezministries.com slash partner to become a monthly ministry supporter. Your monthly support of any amount is going to make a difference. So go right now, davidhernandezministries.com slash partner. Every amount counts. It all matters. It all makes a difference. And I want to leave you with this. If you enjoyed this teaching, then you will love three things I've learned about criticism and slander.